Welcome to Fairy the Greyhound. We're down in Cornwall and we're staying on the south coast in an area called the Roseland. So in today's video you're going to see Fairy exploring some of the local beaches in the area. We're not staying on a campsite this time, we're staying with our friends but we've still been sleeping in the camper van. Fairy loves van life, it really suits her down to the ground when all she loves to do is sleep and she's got the whole double bed in the back of the van to do that. She also likes eating her meals in the van or outside in the fresh air if it's not raining. The first beach we're going to show you is Westport Holland. This is a tiny little beach. We parked up right on the edge of the beach and opened the back doors of the van and we just lay there listening to the sea, peace and quiet and the birds singing. What an amazing view from our bedroom window. This is a very quiet beach, only really visited by locals. We love laying in the camper van, looking out at beautiful views like this. Just relaxing, Fairy has a nice snooze, with the fresh air blowing in. Fairy got out and had a little run on the beach, but there wasn't much beach. Um, it's very pebbly, so it's not the best for Fairy to run on. But she still had some fun. The weather was very variable today. We had sun, cloud, a bit of drizzle. Fairy got very excited on the beach and when she gets excited she goes around in circles and she does lots of frantic digging in the sand. Fairy! Don't lay down! Fairy! Come here! I didn't really want Fairy laying down in her jumper and getting it all sandy before she got back in the van. Fairy's favourite toys are squeaky toys and balls. So we brought her squeaky toy down to have a little game of fetch on the beach. Fairy doesn't really get fetch. She will chase after it and then she usually just leaves it there on the ground. She very rarely brings it back. Fairy had a lovely day on the beach. Every Saturday morning, one of the friends that we're staying with goes to a wild swimming club and they swim early in the morning. So today I joined them. We went at eight o'clock and it was an absolutely beautiful morning. Clear skies, calm seas, and we had an amazing dip in the sea. I left Fairy back at the house because I didn't want to leave her in the van or on the beach on her own. But we were only gone for an hour. The water was very cold to start with, but afterwards it was absolutely lovely. The next beach we're going to show you is Perrenporth. This is one of the uh, busier beaches up on the north coast and it's very popular with surfers. When we arrived, we went to the Perrin Dairy for breakfast. This is famous for its handmade Cornish ice cream. 
which we didn't have for breakfast, but we did have some of their lovely waffles with bacon, sausage and maple syrup. We offered Fairy some sausage, but she wasn't too impressed with this particular brand and refused to eat it. After breakfast we headed down to the beach, which was quite busy, being a surfing beach. The beaches are really the only place that I let Fairy off the lead, unless it's sort of private fields or private grounds that are fenced. Fairy so well behaved on the beach, even busy beaches with lots of dogs and lots of people. Fairy always focuses on me and is looking for me and comes back when I call her. I forgot to bring her ball with me to the beach today so there were some people throwing balls for their dogs which Fairy did run after but she's very polite and she knows if it's another dog's ball and she does run after it but she tends to let the other dog get it and um, shows no sort of um, aggression towards any size or breed of dog. She's very friendly can see there there's dogs running around near her. She does tend to just ignore other dogs. She won't go up to them but if they come to her she will sniff them and say hello in a nice friendly way. It was a cloudy day today and not too hot. I don't take Fairy to the beach when it's very hot because the sand would burn her feet and greyhounds don't cope well in the heat. So she stays at home on hot days. Fairy likes to dig herself holes on the beach to lay in. She spends ages perfecting the hole, making sure it's the right size with enough soft sand for her to lay on comfortably. On our way back from the beach, we had a wander along the high street in Perranporth, where there's lots of surfing shops, nice little local stores um, selling sort of souvenir type things. We had a walk along there and then we went back to the van and Fairy was very, very tired after her run on the beach. So she went straight to sleep. We love the scenery in the countryside in Cornwall. Very narrow country lanes, big high hedges and lots of wildlife, lots of cows. Um, we saw these on the lane on our way down to Port Low, which is another of the local beaches. This one is on the south coast near to where we are staying and it's a little traditional fishing village. We walk down to this lovely little cove. You can see all the fishing boats and the fishermen's nets and things like that. Um, and it's a very small beach, a little pebbly beach. The tide was in so we couldn't really go on the beach but Fairy likes to sniff around and the fishing equipment. I've been coming to this um, area with my parents since a child and this is one of the places we used to come. There's a nice little restaurant with a terrace there in the background where you could have a nice crab sandwich. The seafood is particularly good down here in Cornwall, obviously being right next to the sea. It's very fresh and tasty. Fairy was feeling very relaxed here with her tongue hanging out. We decided to take a little walk up the coast path just next to this cove. You can see all the lovely wildflowers. Quite a steep drop down there to the next little cove. We love the Cornish coastline and the south coast is so much quieter than the north. The sea is generally calmer and there's far less people here. <coughs> Fairy
Mary's now whining because she's had enough of standing around. She's not very patient. Mary. You can see the little traditional Cornish fishing village there on the side of the cliff. Very, very pretty. We really love it down here. After a short walk up the coastal path and back again, we returned to our friend's house where we're staying and joined them inside for dinner, which was lovely. Fairy stole one of their dog's beds. Here she is laying on it and it actually matched her outfit. She then got up onto their sofa and zonked out completely. You see her eyes are rolling and her mouth is open. Well, that's the end of our trip to Cornwall. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you haven't yet subscribed, please click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications and we'll see you again soon.